So what is going on everybody? My name is Meho and welcome to your yet another tutorial for messenger chatbot development in which I'm gonna show you how to send images as replies right so Facebook provides you an API to do that and uh, what you have to do here is you have to add another field inside your JSON data which would be the attachment and actually this would be inside message only wouldn't be outside that so message would contain an attachment right and this attachment and let's just get rid of the text for now this attachment would be something of a type which would be an image right and uh, next you need to pass in payload right so the payload would contain information about the image right so here you can pass in the URL of the image or what you can do instead is that you can leave the payload as empty but attach an image from your server itself in our case it would be my computer only but uh, if your images or whatever you want to send is stored on your server instead of URL or actually you can just pass in the same URL as well but if you want to upload the image instead of sending a URL then what you have to do is leave the payload blank and inside your curl request you have to upload the image and to do that just make use of the file create here like uh, my file is uh, file create and uh, and yeah make sure you are running uh, I guess uh, uh, over PHP version 5 because uh, before that what you have to do is you have to first of all get the file path file path and, uh, and instead of this JSON data what you have to pass in is an array with a field file contents right so not this one and then you have to pretty much uh, you know make it an associative array and pass in the information about your file right so let's just leave it to JSON for now and we'll just take a look at that later how to do that uh, with uh, actually on file on the server so you, know, you can just google it if you want to I'm just gonna skip over this and just go to URL instead so the payload would contain a URL typically if you want to show an image and uh, this URL um, this could be anything actually so let's just say if I am and uh, I copy the URL or the image link address write this one and I pass in something like this right I save the file and I make sure that uh, nothing is broken right looks like okay so now if I go to my chatbot and I have already made changes to the webhook because I've started ngrok again and uh, <clears throat> the message now and say like uh, hey there then do I receive any request on ngrok well it works right so this should not be a problem we have the chatbot and the file is updated as well so hey there and we are not getting requests right so
it is something to do with Facebook and oh okay 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 I get it I get it I have to resubscribe the page right so just subscribe it because my webhook was disabled because it was inactive for over eight hours so yeah that's the thing as well so now if I pass in hi to this you see that I get an image as a response right and uh, obviously Facebook actually parses it into its own URL before you know it won't directly display the URL which you are passing so that is how pretty much you pass in URL or actually images and what like you can do as an assignment is that you can just create an array of images here and actually the URLs only and uh, what those URLs could be is like uh, since our bot is about a joke bot right so you can create images regarding memes right so you can just google some and uh, you can modify the code here as well to say that uh, if there's a matching query for like send me an image or you know a picture or a meme or you know you can just make it a random as well sometimes you send in a text joke and sometimes you send in a meme right so you can just make it a bit interesting as well so that can be done and that's pretty straightforward actually because the main implementation is just the API call right and uh, which we have done here and as I told you for the local image sending what you have to do is just leave this payload blank and upload a URL an image here using your either your CURL file create or just directly attaching it in the post fields with the file contents as the extra header in JS1 data which we would need right and actually I'm just passing in as JS1 data but you might want to pass in this as an array right so you can just do that as well if you want to if you want to try out just do this and if you face any problem then let me know and I'll just shoot a tutorial on that as well so that is all for this one and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and in the coming tutorials we're gonna see how to create actually smarter bots and uh, pretty much we haven't actually just seen the other data types which you can send in like you can create a nice little menu for the user to select from and uh, all that weird stuff right so there's a lot to learn and uh, a lot to explore as well so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one